everybody. Today we're going, going to continue with chapter 10 with lesson two, which is about customary capacity. So our first lesson <clears throat> was looking at customary length. So we were converting different units of length and today we're going to be talking about comparing different units of capacity. So we'll, let's look at our unlock the problem. Mara has a can of paint with three cups of purple paint in it. She also has a bucket with a capacity of 26 fluid ounces. Will the bu bucket hold all of the paint Mara has? <clears throat> so what this means is that um, when you see the word capacity, that means that that's how much the object can hold. So right here, you can see the definition. The capacity of a container is the amount the container can hold. So when we're told that the bucket has a capacity of 26 fluid ounces, that means that's the most that that bucket can hold. It can't hold any more than that. So we're trying to figure out if we can fit those three cups of paint in the bucket that can hold 26 fluid ounces. So in order to do this, we're gonna have to convert the cups into ounces. So over here, if you'd like to fill this out, what capacity does Mara need to convert? We need to convert the three cups into fluid ounces. This is the abbreviation for fluid ounces, okay? So after she converts the units, then we're gonna have to compare to see if the amount of paint is larger or smaller than the capacity that the bucket can hold. So you're gonna be given a chart on the next page, um, but in the meantime, I'll tell you that in one cup, if you don't already know this, I saw some of you knew it, um, there are eight fluid ounces. So if one cup has eight fluid ounces and we have three cups of paint, the easy way is just to take the one cup and multiply it by eight, I'm sorry, by three, to get the three cups. And then what you would do is you would take the eight ounces that are in one cup and multiply that by three. So that would give us 24 fluid ounces. If that doesn't make sense to you, you can always draw a diagram. So let's say we have our one cup, okay? And in this cup, we have eight ounces, okay? So now three cups. If we have another cup, this is cup number two. We have another eight ounces. And then in the third cup, there's another eight ounces. So all you have to do is add them or multiply them and you'll still get 24. Okay, so let's take a look at our first example. <clears throat> the purpose of this example is to show you that sometimes you will have to convert multiple units. Sometimes you can't just convert one nice and easily. Sometimes you have to do more than one conversion before you get to your answer. So here's the chart I was talking about before. It gives us the most common customary units of capacity. So in one cup, we've got eight fluid ounces. In a pint, there's two cups. In a quart, there's two pints. And in a gallon, there's four quarts. So in this example, Coral made 32 pints of fruit punch for a party. She needs to carry the punch in, a, in one gallon containers. How many containers is she going to need? So she's made 32 pints and she's only got these containers that hold one gallon each. So if you take a look at your chart, you're going to notice the only thing we're given here about gallons is in quarts. So we're not going to be able to directly convert pints into gallons. We're going to have to look here. We're going to have to take our pints and we're going to have to turn them into quarts and then we'll turn them into gallons. Okay? So the first thing we can do, <clears throat> if we're going to look at the total amount of pints that we have, we're going to look at the next thing we know, which is that there are two pints in one quart. Okay? So if there's two pints in one quart, let's write that here. I have to just decide if I'm going to divide or multiply. So remember, 
if you're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you have to divide. Remember, smaller division makes things smaller. So I'm going to divide the total pints by 2. And that's going to give me 32 divided by 2, which is 16 quarts. So now I know that there's 16 quarts in 32 pints. Now I have to take the quarts and convert them into gallons. So I know that there's four quarts in gallons. So I have 16 total. And again, I'm going from quarts to gallons. Quarts are smaller. So I'm going to divide. And using my chart, I can see that there's four quarts in one gallon. So I'm going to divide by four. 16 divided by four gives me four. So now I know that if I have 32 pints, that's four gallons. So Coral needs four of these one gallon containers to carry her punch. Guys, I'm gonna quickly return to the unlock the problem because I just realized that we never answered the actual question, which was what will the bucket hold all of the paint that Mara has? So we found that the bucket, I'm sorry, that the cups, <clears throat> three cups of paint are equal to 24 fluid ounces. So if the bucket holds 26 fluid ounces, then 24 fluid ounces will definitely fit in the bucket. So the answer is that yes, the bucket is gonna hold Mara's paint. Sorry about that. So now we're gonna go to the Sharon shell. And what we're gonna do is we're going to use the picture to complete the statements. I also included this at the bottom if you're using your notes. Um, if you're using the textbook, this is um, still on the page at the top. Um, just so that you have that there, but you're also supposed to just use the picture here. One quart is equal to how many pints? Well, our goal here is that we're going to convert three quarts into pints. So if you wanted to use this, you would be looking at quarts and pints and you would see here you have one quart is equal to two pints. And that would be what you wanted to use. Here, we're looking at this cute little picture. So what we'll see is that one quart is equal to two pints. Same thing that we saw here. One quart is equal to two pints. So we'll write that in. So one quart is blank than one pint. Is that gonna be greater or less than? That's gonna be greater than. And of course, we're saying that because if one quart's equal to two pints, two pints is greater than one pint. <clears throat> okay. So now, because it's greater, that means we're going from something that is larger to something that is smaller. So in this case, when we convert, greater, we're going to multiply. So we're going to take this three quarts that we have and we're going to multiply it by how many pints there are, which is two. And that's going to give us six pints. Okay, and again, you can always draw little diagrams if that makes more sense to you. You know, if your three quarts, every quart has two pints in it, right? So if you do something like this, Okay, this is one quart, it has two pints, and I need three. This is another quart, and it has two pints. And this is the third quart, and it has two pints. And then you can see two, two, two will give you six. Okay, there's nothing wrong with doing that. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to convert these guys here, just on our own. So you can use whatever method you want. I'm going to go with what I said in the previous lesson. I'm going to go with... If you're going from smaller to greater, you divide. If you're going from greater to smaller, you multiply. Because to, to, for me, that's the easiest thing. And you can use this chart at the bottom. I think you still have it at the top of your page if you're using your textbook. So if we're going to go from gallons to pints. Gallons, the biggest one, right? So we're going from larger to smaller. So if you're starting with larger, that means we're going to multiply. So. You can see there's no gallon to pint here. There's gallon to quart, and then there's quart to pint. So we're gonna have to go and do what we did in the previous example, where we have to take two different steps. So first, I'm gonna convert gallons into quarts. Okay, so I'm gonna take my gallon. I have three gallons, and I wanna convert it into quarts. So I'm going from bigger to smaller. So I'm going to multiply by four because there's four quarts in a gallon, in a gallon, sorry, and that will give me 12 quarts. 
now that I'm in quarts, I can go from quarts to pints. So I have 12 quarts to go to pints. I'm going from a larger to a smaller, so I'm multiplying. There's two pints in a quart, so I multiply, and that will give me 24 pints. Okay, so your answer is 24. Okay, number three, I'm going from quarts to pints. And again, that is from larger to smaller. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be multiplying. And you'll see you do have quarts to pints right here. There's two pints in every quart. So this one's nice and easy. You just take your five quarts and multiply it by two pints. And you find that there are 10 pints in five quarts. Finally, number six, we're going from quarts to cups. So again, this one is from larger to smaller. So if you look, cups, pints, cups, fluid ounces, quarts is here. So we have to do more than one step, okay? So you use what you have and you work backwards. So I'm going to go from quarts to pints first, okay? So <clears throat> every quart has two pints. So my six quarts, I'm going to multiply by two. So that means that there are 12 pints in six quarts. And now I'm going to convert the pints into cups. And then I'll have my answer. So there are two cups in every pint. So if I have 12 pints, I'm going to multiply that by two. And that gives me my amount of cups, which is 24 cups. Hooray. Okay. So again, if this is confusing for you, you can always draw those little diagrams if it helps. Okay. I'm going to have you guys do your the first three questions of the on your own. Um, pause it. Try them out. And then you can unpause and I will have the answers ready for you. Um, I've placed this on the top of the page. It's not on the textbook page, but you can look at this or you can flip back to the next page if you need to see them. All right, so why don't you go ahead and pause and give these three a shot. Guys, so if you did these, you'll notice that you are going from something smaller to something larger. And so that means you would be dividing. So for number five, going from cups to pints, you're converting something that's smaller into something that's larger. So if you take a look here, you can see there's two cups in every pint. So you take your 38 divided by two and you find that there's 19 pints. For number six, quarts to gallons. Again, that's smaller to larger, so we divide. Um, there's four quarts in every gallon. So you take your 36 divided by four and you get nine gallons. And finally, number seven, we're starting out with 104 fluid ounces and that is smaller than cups, so we're dividing eight ounces in every cup. Divide 104 by eight and you find 13 cups. Okay guys, I know that this topic can be pretty confusing, so when in doubt, just remember what I said, going from smaller to larger, divide, from larger to smaller, multiply. And you can always draw yourself a little diagram. All right, so just do your very best with this topic. It does actually come in handy in real life, especially when you're cooking and baking. Okay, guys, have fun.